Hello everybody, it's Pierre. Welcome back to the channel. So I thought I would document painting these two 20 gallon tanks. I paint my tanks for several reasons. The biggest one is to cover the sides back and bottom with black paint so that the fish feel safer and more secure. And it also, I think, looks better than seeing through an aquarium. Really immerses you better in, uh, you know, when you're looking inside a tank. So first thing you wanna do is put your tank somewhere where you don't care if paint gets splattered. And so I did that out here. So what I did was I cleaned the glass with plain water and then wiped it off with a paper towel. There's a couple of ways you can paint your tanks. One is spray paint and the other is just a good old can of paint and paintbrush. So let's go grab some paint. Let's go back inside. You can see when it's done, it's a nice flat black finish. First, let's do a couple of bench presses. So we're gonna do a couple of bench presses, uh, just a light weight, lightish, to kind of warm up the muscles, and get them ready for painting, okay? One of the important things when painting is make sure you wear clothes that you don't mind getting paint on. So in my case, I'm wearing clothes that uh, have been laying around and I'll probably turn them into rags when I'm done painting, if they get too dirty. All right, get a few bench presses there. Now let's get painting. As you can see, uh, I'm super warmed up. So that makes it perfect for sweat beads and drops to drop on the paint while we're painting the tanks. All right, let's go. Now it's all mixed up so that we can start painting these tanks. Pop the lid off because it's encrusted. There we go, beautiful, huh? Look at that, delicious grade A, high fat content paint. Oh! Put it right there. Now we're gonna dip our paintbrush in it, give it a couple whacks, okay? There's some probably gonna be some pine needles in here. Pine needles increase and enhance the flavor. Woo! Just kidding, don't eat paint. And then we're ready to go, all right? So what I'm gonna do is just paint like this, paint like that. You dip, drippy drip. You know what, I'm gonna actually paint, not side to side, but top to bottom. Make sure you get all the gaps. And I'm gonna show you a little trick later that allows you to determine whether or not you've covered everything fully, okay? Go crazy, right? Like Bob Ross, Bob Ross. We're gonna paint happy little paint and happy little tanks. And as you can see, my sweat is dripping into the can, which is excellent, okay? That's excellent. Because the sodium chloride and potassium in your sweat actually enhances the paint adhesion properties. Just kidding, that's a joke. You can see I'm using an advanced technique here where I don't get up right next to the thing, but I paint at an angle, right? It looks horrible. You know what, it's fine. Next, we're gonna paint the back. This is the back of the tank. I like to have my tanks upside down so I don't accidentally drip paint inside the aquarium. That makes it easier for me to kind of do this. Get up in there. It doesn't matter, you know what? Keep it random, okay? All right, we're gonna stop the video here and we'll join you again later, or you'll join me again later when it's all done. See you later. Thorny. What kind of plant is it? Thorny. That looks weird. It's like the rose thing we have. Yeah. It doesn't look like any other plant around here I've seen. As soon as you can, when you're done painting, you have to rinse out your brush so that it doesn't get all sticky and gunked up, and also your hands, okay? All right, everybody. It's been a few hours, just came back from a movie. Anyway, let's take a look at these tanks. So the first coat is dry, as you can see. Not the best finish. Now, one thing I like to do also is look through the front and see if there's any places that are lacking in coverage. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. See that? You can see my hand. This area needs more paint. Oh, here. Yeah, this looks pretty terrible. So you're gonna need definitely another coat, maybe two more. Then coats on, I'd say these look pretty darn good. A little sloppy there in some parts, but you know what? Who cares, right? We're not painting a house or a masterpiece, a Renaissance masterpiece, P painting fish tanks. So who cares if it's a little sloppy, as long as you get the full coverage, okay? So um, I'm gonna let this dry most likely overnight. Maybe not, we'll see. It's pretty warm still. And let's go around front and see if we can still see anything <clears throat> through the back besides the reflection of my legs and toes there. Looks pretty good. 
Well, there you have it. Two 20 gallon tanks with painted bottom, back and sides. Nice and dry. I left them out here to dry overnight. So we'll bring them inside and set them up and we'll see how they look.